Students learn in different ways, so it is very important that a variety of approaches are used. One approach is shared reading. This is an approach that I really love. It is usually whole class, so the resources need to be appropriate for the age and interest level of the students. The shared books for me that have worked the best are those that have that chunk of rhythmical rhyming text that beats its way through the book. Keylinks has shared books that are appropriate for this approach. I call them musical, magical, rhythmical texts. Day one. On day one, our focus is comprehension. Discuss the title and cover illustrations and build anticipation. Read the story using good voice characterizations. We must make the story come alive. It is really important to keep the story flowing and stop only for students' interaction if it is appropriate. When the story is finished, ask students questions to stimulate discussion. Get them to generate questions by interviewing the character and use the message in the text to make a text-to-self connection. The sun went down, 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 and Baboon made a nest in the tree. But Eagle came plop, flop, into the nest in the tree. Goodness me, I wonder what's going on. Baboon said, shoo you. But Eagle said, no, you shoo. And Eagle stayed in the nest in the tree. The moon came up, up, up. And Baboon said, shoo you. But Eagle said, no, you shoo. And Eagle stayed in the nest in the tree. It's pretty mean, isn't it? Baboon went slap, slap, slap. So Eagle went slap, snap, snap. Off came feathers, off came hair, whirling, twirling everywhere. Baboon slapped and Eagle snapped. They went slap, slap, slap and snap, snap, snap all night long. The sun came up, 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 and Baboon said, Not fair, I'm bear. <laughs> and Eagle said, Not fair, I'm bear. Baboon said, No more snapping. And Eagle said, No more slapping. So when the sun went down, 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 there was no slapping. No snapping. Baboon and Eagle were sharing the nest and they said, sharing is best. I wonder if somebody could be Baboon for me. I wonder if we can have a Baboon out here. Okay, Noah, come on, that out here. You can be Baboon. Here's Baboon. Now, he's not Noah now, he's Baboon. I want you to think about the story and I want you to ask Baboon a question. You can use how, or why, or when, or where, or what. You ask him a question. Why did you have the flag? Because it's big enough for two people. Because I built the nest and he came along. Good boy. Excellent. Look back at me now. We had a problem. This was a big problem in here. What was the problem? What was the big problem that we had in the story? Can you tell me, Jaden? Um... They had a big fight. Yeah, they had a big fight, but what was the problem? What was it really about? What was the problem? Yeah? Eagle came into Baboon's nest and he started the fight. And they didn't want to? Share. That's right, that was the problem. Day two. On day two, our focus is on vocabulary. Reread the story, encouraging your students to join in with the repetitive chunk of text. If an interesting, unusual or a difficult word appears on a page, read the page and then focus on that word. Talk about what it means and other words that may mean the same. Here's a good suggestion. Put the word on a chart called a wow words chart. Remember, off we go. Baboon said, shoo you. But Eagle said, no, you shoo. And Eagle stayed in the nest in the tree. That naughty Eagle. Baboon went slap, slap, slap. So Eagle went snap, snap, snap. Off came feathers, off came hair, whirling, twirling everywhere. Oh, there's some more wow words. I love these words, whirling and twirling. I wonder what they mean, whirling and twirling. Can you show, me? Can you show me with your hands? 
Whirling, something whirling around and twirling around. Okay, stop that now. What makes something twirl? What might make some, what might make the leaves twirl? The wind. The wind could make the leaves twirl. Yeah. What do you think? A spinning top. Yes, that's twirling and whirling, isn't it? Okay, they're wonderful words. I'm going to put on our wow words chart as well. Here it goes, twirling. I love that word. Can you say it? What about whirling? Can you say that word? Whirling. Really good. Whirling. Love it. Okay, let's keep reading. Day three. On day three, our focus is flow and phrasing and fluency. Focus the students' attention on the clues that help them to read well. Things like print conventions, bold font, change in font size, illustrative text. Ensure that the students know how these clues will help them to read with expression. Get the students to join in with the reading of the whole text, changing their voice when they see these clues. Okay, eyes up here. You know, when we read a book, there's some clues that help us know how to read. And this is a clue. Well, who knows what these are called? Do you know what these are called, Charlie? Full stops. They're not full stops. No, good try though. Dots. They're little, they're like little dots. They're called ellipses. Can you say that word? Ellipses. And they mean, have a little pause, something else is coming. What is this? Full stop. When you see that, what do you have to do? Stop. Have a rest. Have a rest. What's this here? Comma. comma. When you see a comma, what do you have to do? Have a wee rest. Have a wee rest. Okay, so we're going to practice that page. We're going to look, use the cute clues to help us know what to do when we read it. Are you ready? Peter, are you looking? Good boy. Off we go. The sun went down, down, down. And Baboon made a nest in a tree. Very good. I wonder if there's any clues on this page. Oh dear, someone's talking here. How do we know someone's talking? Ooh. What are these called? Six. Speech marks. Six. Can you say speech marks? Speech someone's speech talking. Marks. So when you see someone talking, you have to make your voice sound like the person talking. Who's talking here? Baboon. Baboon. Who's talking here? Eagle. Eagle. So we've got to change our voice. Are we ready? Off we go. Baboon said, shoo you, but Eagle said, no, you shoo. And Eagle stayed in the nest in the tree. Baboon and Eagle were sharing the nest. And they said, sharing is best. Did you help me read that? Yeah. Sharing is best. Read it again. Sharing is best. Very good. Day four. Our focus on day four is phonic knowledge and phonemic awareness. Reread the whole text together, getting the students to join in with the reading. After the reading, take one spread and use this to reinforce things like letter names, sounds, word families, phonemes and rhyming words. Day five. Our focus on day five is a combination of oral, written and visual language. Use the text as a springboard for drama or getting the students to retell the story in a creative way. Use the story to stimulate a written and visual response from the students and collate this response into a book for independent reading or a wall display. Shared reading is the soul, the heartbeat of the reading programme.